welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do some reverse stamping. So I've got all of these done already and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I do this one. Um, I didn't want to kind of bore you doing them all at the same time. So first off, uh, this will be my base and isn't this gorgeous. This is Super Chick Lacquer if my camera will okay so and then this one is called exposed um, I received this one um, from nailstuff.ca um, she sent it uh, to me with um, my parcel it was um, one of my my gifts inside so isn't this gorgeous so um, now I have gone and stamped so what I'm doing is um, this is Beauty Big Bang 15 and I'm using these cute little sheep aren't they adorable so and what I have gone and done is oh this is my nailstuff.ca stamper it's a magnifying one so it's easier for me to show you so I've gone ahead and I filled them in um, and we're just gonna fill in this one and then I'll show you how to attach them to the nails once we're done but I wanted to show you um, sometimes when I'm doing um, reverse stamping I don't know what base to do so what I usually do I just wanted to kind of show you is I will take the polish and then just kind of go over top and kind of see it's like oh okay that one looks good that or we can take like another polish say this gold and then I go over top just to see okay eh. you know so just an idea so you can see um, well, the green would look pretty good too I was originally gonna do red but I couldn't decide so it was kind of hard to tell and I've already done a red mani so I figured you can't go wrong with pink hollow so but that's just a little tip if you're not sure what um, base to use I just um, look on the other side and then see and I also like using the clear stampers because I can see if I've missed spots as well so first off um, I'm going to move these guys out of the way so I uh, don't mess them up. And um, so on this one, I just take a little piece of tape. I've got some edges here that I don't ask, I don't want on the stamper. I don't need them. So I'm just going to take them off. And I noticed this one I actually missed this. I just like taking the, the excess off just so it doesn't accidentally get on my nail or on my skin and it's more that I gotta clean up. So for the green, I'm using this Sally Hansen Insta Dry. This one's called No Spear Time. And then I'm using my Sinful Colors and then it's just Snow Me White. Um, I don't you know, I was looking for a green sparkly, and I don't actually have a lot of green, so I was kind of, it's like, hmm, I think I gotta buy some more green. Green's not one of my favorite colors, but, um, and then I've got just a little piece of tin foil. I can put it on my silicone mat, but, yeah, I wasn't in the mood to pick off polish. And so tin foil it is. And then I'm just using my nail stuff. And it's this brush I can't remember what millimeter it is I'll look it up and then but I'll list it below um, just one of the detail art brushes so now I'm just gonna go in and then fill in the green little trees I prefer doing the stampers because one I can kind of take my time um, I mean, I can do it on my silicone mat, but then I gotta make a duckle out of it, and 
I just find doing this stamper method is way, way easier for me. I can do them all at the same time. Usually I do one color, so I'll do all the green, then I'll do all the white. Um, also, um, I don't know if you can see, um, on like this little sheep here, he's got a green tree and this one's got a green tree. Now, when you're um, reverse stamping, it's always best to do the color first that's gonna show first, so you don't accidentally cover it, so or like cover the design. So th in this case, I'm doing the tree first because his main body, it's okay if I go over it, So, but you'll still see the tree. I don't know if I'm explaining that right. You want to do um, the trees first because then if you go over on the white, it will just, you'll still be able to see, see it. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I've explained that correctly, but if it doesn't make sense, then let me know. I just try and, because the, the, the sheep, I'm going to do like little blobs, so I'm not as accurate because they're, they're a bigger object. So I try and do light colors all first. So I don't have to do the entire image. Um, I generally do because depending on how it's going to fit on my nail, um, yeah, I just, some nails are bigger, some are, are smaller, so I try and do all of it just, just to be on the safe side. Because sometimes you can even do, depending how big your nails are, if you got itty bitty nails, like on this hand I've got some that are smaller, I could possibly do two decals on one, like two nails out of one decal. So I won't in this case, but because I've made five. So I just go through and do the green. So then I just take my acetone and just wipe off my brush. And then I'm gonna get my white. And I'm just using regular polish. You can do your reverse stamping with um, acrylic paint. I don't do acrylic paint when I when I do my art. I just I don't know. I just it doesn't feel right. So I just paint in and polish. And I always have, and I probably always will. I just don't like the consistency, or I don't know. Maybe I've just bought the wrong acrylic paints. I don't know. So I'm just doing his little, all these little guys' ears first, because they need to be they're quite tiny, actually. One nice thing about doing reverse stamping is you can turn it around. Okay. Um, I think you can move the, the stamper to the way that's more comfortable for you. So I think I got all the ears. Oh, I missed one ear. Right there. Okay. So now I just kind of go in. Now I've heard some girls they have issues with ac um, accidentally like um, picking up the lines, and I find I just kind of dot. Like I don't really, um, I don't touch the stamper because um, you don't want to pull up your outline. So I'm very careful that I don't actually touch the actual stamper and I kind of pat it down so I don't pull up, accidentally pull up the outline. 
Okay, so see here how I've done the tree first? Now I can go over with the white with the sheep and you can see the tree. See he's over here in the corner. So that's what I meant. Do the color that's going to show and then you can um, first, so I, on this one, I need to do the green first and then I do the white over top. So then the tree will actually show. So I'll just go through. And these guys, I don't, as long as I stay within the lines, I'm okay, so it's not super hard to do. Mostly it's just the ears and just staying within the, um, the lines. And then I normally let them dry for maybe a half hour or so. It depends on what I'm doing. Like, to be honest, like I was earlier, I was making cookies. So I started them and then I made cookies. So it's <laughs> kind of doing two things at once. Okay. So there they all are. So this way, when you flip it over, you can see, like I could probably put a little more green on that one tree, but overall, yeah, it looks pretty, pretty darn good if I do say my so. Okay, and then I'm just gonna get some acetone and clean out my brush. Now, um, also just a reminder, when you're cleaning your brushes, um, once you're done, I always make sure I go and rinse my brushes out in um, water. Because once I've done the acetone, I don't want the acetone to eat it. And then I put a little bit of cuticle oil just to keep the brush bristles together. So that's kind of like my little tip to keep my brushes good. Okay. So now, to put them on your nails, um, I've been using this Pro FX Sticky Base Coat. Um, you can use, um, I know there's girls that use the Orly um, Yellow Stopper, or you can use like a, a, a Wet n Wild Clear. You can use this stuff. Wet and Wild, um, the clear nail protector. This, if you're gonna make decals on your mat, use this. Don't use a top coat. This one seems to stay pliable, or like a fast dry top coat or whatever, um, like Sesh Feet, for example, makes them way too brittle. But this stuff is good for on your uh, silicone mats. But um, I'm gonna use a sticky base. So I'm just gonna put it and I'm just going to put a thin coat so I'm going to do two on camera and then I'll come back and show you afterwards so we're going to just sit for a minute so I'm going to pause for a moment and I'll be right back okay so it's been about a minute so now I'm just going to take my first one and I'm going to aim it and then I just kind of roll them on and then I can just pat them down. I like doing it this way just because I find um, they're thinner. Like some people will, 
cost a tree, so I'm just going to put a tree on. Um, so if I put a clear coat on it, it makes it a lot thicker, and I don't, I don't want a super thick deco. I just want a really thin one. So now what you can do is you can either cut off the excess, so I can cut off the little guys. So I'm doing this with my left hand, so. And that's one thing, I like putting reverse decals on my right hand because I am right handed so I find it easier to um, put the decals on and then on my right hand because then it looks really amazing and I didn't do like it sometimes when you're painting with your your wrong hand it just doesn't seem to want to work for you you know what I mean this way, your right hand will look amazing. Okay, so now I just take, um, this is my cleanup brush from Nail Stuff, and I'm gonna dip it in some acetone. And I just kinda um, dot it down, and then it, um, and then I'm gonna use the barrel of the brush, and just against the nail tip and then it'll melt under there. So again, I just kind of just kind of tap it. And and then it just sort of melts it away. And that way I don't risk um, ruining it or pulling it up and I like this brush because it's super thin so <laughs> it seems to kind of float into my cuticles and it doesn't get the whole nail so, well, I'm still in camera for you so I'm just just slightly cleaning them up. And then if you go underneath the nail, you can just kind of melt away the excess. And I clean up my skin. See how easy that was? Okay, and then we'll do this guy. And then I just kind of melt him. Melt, melt my sheep. So we call them a snowman, but they're not snowman. They're little sheep. Never heard of Christmas sheep, but you know. I thought they were cute. Super easy. There you go. Okay, so I'm just gonna pause for the moment. I will come back and show you um, once I do the other two nails. Okay, one moment. So I'm back and I've cleaned them all up. I still need to top coat them and then put cuticle oil on. Um, I guess I got a spot there that I gotta clean up. But um, super easy to do. Oh, well, it's just more time consuming than anything. But when you're doing it on the stamper, you can take your time. So I'm just gonna float some of my sesh feet over top.
so there we go they are top coated so I'm just going to put some cuticle oil on once this is dry and that is it okay well I hope you enjoyed these little sheep and um, yeah I hope you're having a great day and thank you for watching and um, yeah bye for now